Hello everyone. I'm here today to share a very special recipe with you. I know what you're thinking. Have we come to the wrong place? Have did we sign up for a recipe class? What's happening? You're at the right place, guys. It's just that I like doing things a little hutke, a little different, and today it's not going to be any different. I'm going to share a recipe that is very special. I've never shared it before till now anywhere. That's because I've cracked the formula of this recipe today morning itself. I think it's something with Ahmedabad and Ahmedabad people being my lucky charm in helping me crack this recipe. So, as we all know, we all have seen cooking videos, etc. The recipes have certain steps. They have certain directions. They have like a discipline that you need to follow. So. we need to follow those certain steps to reach till the end of the recipe and we need to collect certain ingredients for this particular recipe so for the first ingredient we need to rewind a little bit rewind it 20 years back this is the year 2004 a very sunny afternoon i am doing my most favorite job in the world i think i was destined to do this job it was my most favorite thing to do that was in school whenever my classmates would get their tiffin i would taste every single tiffin yes that was me tasting every single tiffin that my fellow classmates got and as i did that there were a lot of questions that arised number one question why did priyanka malhotra's tiffin me jo bhindi ki sabji hai was a little more tangy and masaledar than the bhindi sabji my mom made Why was Bhagrishi Patel's masala dal bhindi spicier and had peanuts in it? Number two, why did Alicia's mom not love her or what? Because it's been six days that she's getting Maggi in a dabba in a row, and all these questions I had in my mind as a kid. But I ate Alicia's Maggi that day. Went back home, switched on the TV, and when I switched on the TV, there it was, my most favorite show. Nigella Lawson baking cooking a molten lava cake now if you as a kid saw a molten lava cake recipe i think it's the most beautiful perfect indulgent decadent dessert ever right uh, what's not to love about it and there i was sitting in my hall watching that uh, lady make this molten lava cake and i was like i also want to make that i also want to eat that but there were a few problems Nigella Lawson was in London. I was in Mulund. She had like a full production set happening. Uh she had all ingredients ready. She had all equipments to herself and here I was. I didn't have an oven. I didn't have a mold to make the molten lava cake. And number 3, my dad didn't like my British accent so much. But I was determined. I was like no. Today is the day I will make this molten lava cake. so i went i asked my neighbors for if they have some molds etc i went to my mom i asked her for help that you know what to do if we don't have an oven should we get an oven 2004 guys ovens were very expensive we were not getting an oven but uh, after asking around after asking a few questions i finally made that molten lava cake uh, i made it in a katori in which we would eat dal poured the batter in the katori and baked it in a pressure cooker that is the first ever dessert that i made in my life and there was no stopping from there on i kept baking i kept cooking and i think that is where it all started from but do you know how it all started it all started because i kept asking questions i was inquisitive i kept asking questions that why is this bindi different now i realize okay fine why it is different because maharashtrians people maharashtrians use different spices some punjabis use different spices etc but back then because of all these questions is why i'm here today and that is why ingredient number 1 that you need for the recipe today is 1 cup of curiosity curiosity is something that we all should have in our life and we should never stop asking those questions i did meet Alicia recently and I did ask her hello what was wrong why were you getting maggi and she said no it was all fine my mom's love my mom loves me so don't worry at all I was like okay cool fast forward to 2012 you remember that curious inquisitive kid asking around questions she's now pursuing CA guys yes um i did the one single mistake that every indian kid does score well in 10th standard I got good grades 
and i i had my entire career charted in front of me by my teachers by my parents by my friends you are supposed to do cpt ipcc ca final work in a ca firm marry a ca have ca babies it was already planned and there i was two two and a half years into doing ca i was stuck in a rat race but this was a time in my life that everything changed something happened that my life completely changed although i was stuck in this rat race so we all are supposed to do article ship when we are doing ca uh, that is you are supposed to internship article ship go out there get real life experience tally other people's balance sheet count other people's money do taxes for them this is what i was doing and the firm that i was working in they were actually uh, partners at vipassana now vipassana is a form of meditation and uh, in case anybody in the firm wanted to go for vipassana it is a 12 day course so you would get a paid 12 day leave 20 year old me just thought about 12 paid leave and i was like sure it's a holiday let's go let's go to igatpuri let's do vipassana what could happen right and that decision changed my entire life today i think that vipassana should have been taught earlier to me in my life or should have been included in school curriculums because it is that important uh, i can tell you the two things that i learned or that i take i took away from it and till date i practice in my life but you truly have to go and do that 12 day course to experience and to keep practicing time and time and again in your life the two things that i learned while doing vipassana number one was always be present in the moment no matter what happens do not worry about the future do not worry ke kal ye hoga parso wo hoga 10 saal baad ye hoga 5 saal baad hoga in the moment always be in the moment do not have regrets about the past ye ho gaya wo ho gaya isse breakup ho gaya valentines yaar nothing always be in the moment number one thing the second thing that vipassana taught me was keep doing good deeds and keep following what your heart wants what you love and eventually you will read reach the path that is meant for you i came back with these two important learnings and these learnings are till date with me they are like inscribed within me i came back i decided i want to get out of this rat race of pursuing ca but how do i get out of it right it has been um 5 years that i've been doing this what am i supposed to tell my middle class family that hello i want to quit ca i want to pursue a different career option and i want to start a fresh my peers my friends on the other hand uh, who started the journey with me doing ca they are now earning a salary of 25 30 lakhs per annum and here i am doing nothing and that thought constantly was there that how do i leave it and what do i do now during ca final uh, exams the ca final exams you get a leave for 6 months the 6 months is for you to prepare because ca final exams are toughest exams on the planet they say so they give you a 6 months leave to prepare for your exam and i've given 5 attempts so i've got multiple leaves uh, and during these 6 months instead of studying i would end up cooking okay i had all the time to myself i would just find a recipe make it make pastas make lasagnas make charts and all the possible recipes that i could ever make i would just enjoy doing that during the leave instead of studying and that is when i realized my passion my passion for food and this is what i want to pursue doing i want to make a career in food now comes the time to tell the parents how do i tell them so i thought of a plan this plan was a little reverse plan instead of telling instead of me telling them i want to do this i want them to tell me na ke leave ca to this instead how do i make that happen so i thought let me the desserts the things that i'm making let me put it out to the world once people try you know once they get a feedback they see that oh everything is going well automatically they'll be like okay fine this is what you should do so that is what i did i did a lot of trials and errors and one fine day i came up with the recipe of this cake which was gluten free made with millet sugar free egg free etc and it was mind blowing and i knew that this is that one recipe that is going to change everything 
and uh, I next day I made the cake again. I took out my phone. I took out a few photos. I put it out on online. I sent the cake to a few friends, to family members, and I thought of a name for the brand, etc. And I launched it. And my phone didn't stop ringing because the area where I lived in, people had not uh, heard of a millet cake being sold at an affordable price, and that also so delicious. So they were like, "We want to try it." And there I was during my six months CA final leave. I was baking cakes and selling cakes, and my parents saw this too. They saw that. the plan actually worked so this was my proof of concept to them that my business plan actually works and cut to january january 2019 when the ca final results came of the fifth attempt of ca that i gave um i knew deep down what the results were going to be but we still have to check the results right so i pressed that print button and there it was fail but this time there was something different nobody got upset nobody got irritated nobody got annoyed because everybody ate that slice of cake and my parents told me this baking is what you should be doing and there i was i started my career in food and that is what the second ingredient is the second ingredient is two cups of jigger two huge big cups of jigger you know because taking risk in life is important i know it's scary but that is what jigger is right it's betting on oneself it's betting on what a heart wants and uh, according to me people with jigger succeed uh moving on orders started coming in my phone kept ringing etc i built the brand i had systems in place to execute the orders and everything was going great um one day i got a call that hello hi do you want to uh, participate in a cooking show and like i am i would never say no to opportunities i would always believe in myself and that is what the third ingredient is The third ingredient is 30 ml of 30 ml of believing in yourself. That is what the third magic ingredient is. You must always believe in yourself. Even if you feel you're not able to do it, never let your own self realize that. No, you can do everything possible in this world. And that is what I did. I took that call and there I was standing in front of arguably three of the most talented Indian chefs that we have. at master chef india uh i kept moving forward i reached top 5 and one thing that was constant was i believed in self because as you all know 6 months later only i was tallying balance sheets and here i am at india's number one cooking show whipping up desserts i have beaten 9 lakh people who auditioned for the show uh only because i believed in myself Now there are just two more ingredients left. The fourth ingredient is my favorite ingredient. Now if you ask a chef for a recipe, there'll be one ingredient which will be like, "Oh, your mother's secret ingredient hai." It's that. This is my secret ingredient. And um, if whenever I'm making a recipe, uh if I'm making something for my husband, who's right here with me, uh if I'm making a biryani for him, and if I'm making a biryani for you guys, there'll be a little difference in it. the biryani for him will be a little better because i have made it with more love uh and that is what i've always believed that whatever you do you need to add love to it and uh, soon by continuing doing this uh, we became a community of 1 million followers on instagram by continuously doing this doing what i love and this was not possible alone i didn't reach a 1 million milestone on my own no it happened because of a team a team came together they started working with me and it was the love that i shared with them that transpired over there uh, for the longest time i was stuck on 378k followers uh, for i think 4 to 5 months i even went and told my husband that i think it's a glitch instagram doesn't like me and he was like no that's not the case but we moved past that uh i've shared a lot of uh, recipes i've shared biryani from india i've shared indian pasta recipes got a lot of love from everybody only because me and my entire team has put in that love to deliver those recipes to you and that's why no matter whatever you do in your life whatever you earn whatever you grow do it share it with people you love and you will always see the results now coming to the last ingredient the last ingredient You know when you're watching cooking shows, uh, the chef would always say, 
नमक स्वाद अनुसार वेल द लास्ट इन्ग्रीडियंट इज प्यार स्वाद अनुसार सो नो मैटर वॉट यू डू डू इट विद द लॉर्ड ऑफ लव योर सोसाइटी योर बॉस योर टीचर्स योर पेरेंट्स एक्सेट्रा विल हैव एवरी थिंग चार्टेड आउट फॉर यू बट यू नीड टू फोकस एंड यू नीड टू डू थिंग्स दैट यू लव बी इट एनी टास्क बी इट एनी वर्क एक्सेट्रा बिकॉज ओनली वेन यू डू इट विद लव यू विल सक्सीड सो बी इट दोज डेज वेन आई वॉज टेस्टिंग फूड ऑफ माई कलीग्स और बी इट द टाइम आई वॉज वॉचिंग नाइजल लॉसन एंड मेकिंग दट मॉल्टन लावा केक और आई वॉज इन मास्टर शेफ इंडिया और आई वॉज बिल्डिंग अ कम्युनिटी ऑफ वन मिलियन और योर आई एम टूडे आई डू एवरी थिंग विद लव एंड दैट माई फ्रेंड्स इज द रेसिपी ऑफ बिकमिंग अ टेड एक्सपीकर Thank you so much